We saw sort of felt that ibrutinib is a good drug, but there are two issues with ibrutinib. Firstly, the responses are not complete, at least in a lot of diseases like Moldenstrom's, there are no complete remissions, and even the rates of very good partial remission, which means a 90% reduction in the paraprotein, is actually pretty uncommon. So firstly, we felt that maybe ibrutinib and other players on the market have not really exploited the full potential of BTK inhibition that maybe you can push the BDK inhibition to a higher level and get better responses. The second thing is that most of the drugs in the market are not very clean, so they're not very specific, and we think that some of the side effects that we see with ibrutinib and other drugs may be related to the fact that they're not very, that they are not very selective. So although most patients do very well on, on those drugs, we may be able to get a drug that's even cleaner with even more benign side effect profile. And on that point, we do have some tantalizing evidence that maybe when we pushed up the BTK inhibition that we are making a difference. So in the Waldenstrom's patients, where it's very easy to, re to measure in real time how they're responding, we have a very good partial remission rate of 34%. That means that one in three patients get to a level where their paraprotein is reduced by 90% or more. Now, the same equivalent level in our brutinib is about 15%. So this is already looking like we've already doubled the rate of very good partial remissions, suggesting that as we push the BTK inhibition up to a very high level, that we are getting better quality responses. Now, does that mean, ultimately what the patient wants to know is, does that mean they get a longer remission? Does that mean they get a better quality of life? And we don't know that. You know, that requires phase three studies to confirm or deny that the benefit to the patient. But I think from a scientific point of view, it's interesting to see that you can actually inhibit BTK better than you can with the current drugs on the market. And maybe that means that patients will have better, even better disease outcomes in the long term.